Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing The Dark Side Detective. Um, this is my second um, recording of this actually, of the first one, because the sound of the game was way too loud and I didn't realize it. Let's just make sure that it's uh, still good. Alright, so that should be okay. So... Let's go back to this one. Um, Alright, so this is going to be the first time that you guys are going to see this. And I'm sorry I have to re uh, replay it for you guys, but it's still a really good game, so I hope you enjoy. Uh, so we're going to restart that. Are you sure you want to restart the case? Yes, please. Alright, Malice in Wonderland. Whoa, I almost shot you there, detective. You shouldn't be sneaking around like that. And why is she looking up to the heavens? Can you stop, girl? Thank you. Uh, Dooley, you watched me drive up. Dot, dot, dot. I had my siren on. Dot, dot, dot. You waved at me as I pulled in. Dot, dot, dot. I guess this place has me spooked out a little. So what happened here? Chief Scully just called me up and told me to get here ASAP. No details. Seven-year-old kid Alice went missing a, a day ago. No sign of her leaving the house. Why am I looking up at the sky? Can you stop? I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by, by uh, my girl here. Seems to be the kind of spooky crap, I mean, the kind of case you're into, detective. Great, let's get started. Our trusty squad car. I like to call it the Popo Modo. <laughs> let's go. Officer Dooley, why is there a hobo dripping all over my carpet? Oh, that is Roy Jones. Uh, that's Detective Francis McQueen, Mr. Jones. He's here to investigate. I see. Twin Lakes finest, huh? Yes. Thank you, sir. Nice schooner. Haha. <laughs> you dummy. It's not a schooner. It's a sailboat. A schooner is a sailboat, Dooley. <laughs> yeah, that's I hope you don't smoke around your kid. Thankfully, Detective, I'm really around my kid. That's nice. That's nice, sir. So, how can I help you, detective? Tell me about Alice. I'll level with you, detective. I don't have many dealings with her. She has a limited conversation pool. She's seven. Exactly. A tedious age, so I leave that to the nanny. She's around here somewhere. Where were you last night? How come you didn't notice she was missing? Oh my god, he didn't even notice. I was out. How wonderfully shady. Have you got an alibi? Where was I is none of your business, detective. My taxes pay your salary. They also pay for the cell and questioning room I'm going to have Dooley here take you to. <laughs> I really like that line so much. Fine. Call this number. They'll vouch for me. Busty Bell's Beauty Boutique. Booty boutique, not beauty. Classy stuff. Ah, Bell's. Fond memory. Hmm? I mean, where was he? A bell shop? What? Oop. Got matches. Alright, let's talk to Dooley real quick. Whoa, these folks must be billionaires. Alright, so... Let's go to the hallway. Grandfather clock. This reminds me of my grandfather. Your grandfather was a clock? What? No, he had a clock. Shame. I thought I'd finally found out something interesting about you. What? I'm interesting. Whatever you say, detective. Okay. One of these crystals is worth more than I get paid in a year. We could take one. Da da da. You, uh, passed the corruption test. Well done, detective. Let's go in the closet. 
and junk a box. I mean, box of junk. <laughs> junk a box. Um, a black light bulb may as well take it. All we need is a disco ball, some white clothes, and fat beats. Then we've got ourselves a good night. A good night, we'll be finding this kid. Cool. Let's get out of here. Locked. Alright. Let's go up the stairs. An odd place for a telephone. They must have run out of places to draw. I mean, put it. <laughs> a place this fancy deserves something nicer than plastic flowers. Tell me where she is, bear. I'm only kidding. You don't know. You're only a bear. A stupid, know-nothing bear. I'm so rude to the teddy bear for no reason. Mrs. Jones. Hello, can I ask? My baby, my baby is gone. Can I tell, can you tell me about Al? She just disappeared, my baby. Is there any, you have to find her. Goodbye, find her. This is a lot of pink. I think I'd have run off to. <laughs> Pens, this is no time for art, detective. Blacklight, this looks useful black light marker. So we have a black light marker, black light, and matches. This could be a drawing of our suspect. Really? I'd put out a APB then. No, Dooley. Don't do that. <laughs> Looking at this, I doubt she's going to art school. That's so rude. She's seven. I've never seen a horse with five legs before. <laughs> um, okay. I think we're good in that room. The master bedroom. That nanny is beautiful. Ask her if she's single, you know, as part of the investigation. <laughs> hard to believe this is the same woman we spoke to. The stress of all this has hit her hard. At least someone cares for the girl. A waterbed, very fancy. A waterbed is not really fancy. Looks like something has been kicked under there. No, it doesn't. Oh, a strange page. Tell me about Alice. She's spoiled and sticks her nose where it doesn't belong. But that's what having super rich parents will do to you, I guess. What's a nanny doing in the master bedroom? Nothing suspicious, that's for sure. No siree. I mean, she's acting super suspicious and definitely saying those things don't help. How long have you been working for the Joneses? Joneses, de Joneses detective, even though it ends with an S, it still blurs it. it I can't read. Oh my god. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Is now really the, is now the really the best time? It's always a good time for grammar. Anyway, answer the question. Long enough to harbor no ill whatsoever. Say you're the nanny. A very innocent nanny, yes. Do you have keys for the various rooms? I am a nanny, not a maid. Right. But do you? Yes. May I have the key to the study then? Sure, there's nothing incriminating in there anyway. This woman! <laughs> I swear. We're done here for now. I'll get back to work and nothing else. Okay. Alice and her mom look quite happy here. Seems impolite to go rifling through around in somebody draw that why can't I read words ever? <laughs> Seems impolite to go rifling around in somebody's drawers uninvited. Sorry, sir, but we are police officers. And I think it's totally okay to rifle through things. Uh, okay. Because we are investigating a child's disappearance. So. Alright. Where's the study? Yeah, it's the study. Okay, so downstairs. The study was in here. Yes. And hey, presto, we're in. 
Uh, okay. Roy Jones, Esquire. It takes a certain type of person to have an oil painting of themselves. An old oil lantern seems to have some oil left, too. This statue is ugly enough to be worth a lot of cash. <laughs> a nice collection of books. The dust suggests they have not been looked at in some time. A shame. His magazine collection. Jeez, this guy is obsessed with jugs. <laughs> jugs Weekly. An another lovely pair. <laughs> Armchair. Hey, there are only two seats in this house. Don't be daft, Dooley. There are more, they're just off camera. <laughs> you can never trust a man who has too many books. That's what I can say. That's what I say. How many books are you are too many? Six? And how many books do you have own? Dot dot dot. I don't feel comfortable with this line of questioning. Well then why'd you bring it up, sir? Alright. Uh, we already did the closet, the study... Li oh, let's go back upstairs to the attic now? Before I actually forgot about the attic, so it took me a while to get back here. <laughs> uh, paint thinner fell when the shelf gave way. Not much left in it now. Also, when I first started, when I first played this part, doesn't this look like fire or something? Like... And that sound? It just seems crazy. Right? Sorry, I thought I saw someone else on my window. <laughs> Anywho. Uh, those look heavy enough to knock somebody out cold. Like Home Alone? Broken lamp. Hmm. May not be broken after all. Just the blown bulb. <gasps> blown bulb. Here we go. I hope this doesn't reveal somebody's attic shame. What the heck? Well, that doesn't look ominous at all. Doo -doo -doo. The pattern on the wall looks washed out in places. I wonder what would happen if I redrew it. Well... Oh, redrew it. Mm. Oh, so don't I use this pattern from the occult for a dummies book? Here. Okay, I seem to have everything I need. Let's just get down to some spooky hijinks and redraw these missing symbols. Cool. Alright, so the symbol is this one. Uh, this one. And this one. That should be it. Great. Maybe now is a good time to stop doing, well, anything really. Okay, so before I figured out that you use, you light the lantern, I should probably light this thing, you know, just in case. And then uh, we give it to our friend, McQueen. Seems like a bad idea to me. What? What do you mean it's a bad idea? I can't remember what the hell I did. Oh, I did this. Okay, Dooley, let's do this. No offense, detective, but I'm going nowhere near that creepy fest. Creep fest. I'll, uh, stand guard out here. Okay. Oh. Hello, mister. Hey, kiddo. Are you here to take me home? Yep. Good. I'm hungry and the sounds from downstairs are scaring me. Yeah, let's get out of here. Not so fast, detective. Where's Dooley? That idiot? I knocked him out. I can't have you snooping around anymore, so I'm going to trap you here. At least take the girl. Oh, I intend to. I'll... Uh, I'm her legal guardian, after all. It's my job to look after her, especially if anything should happen to her parents. Say, for example, they're getting trapped in the Dark Sides version of their bedroom. It's where they'd be now if Alice hadn't gotten into my stuff and stupidly trapped herself up here. I figured it'd be best to lay low until you had gone. I thought you'd have given up by now. 
What kind of cop do you think? Most of the TLPD. Sorry, I'm like, this is still so loud. Most of the TLPD? Sadly, that's fair. So that's what this is, an inheritance scheme. You have to admit, it's fairly perfect crime. It is, actually. Even if you do get rid of me, then what? Alice knows what you're up to. She's a smart kid. If she's so smart, she'll know to keep her mouth shut. Once Thule wakes up, you and your scheme will be done forever. Hmm, good point. I'll just have to get you to drag him in here with you. Come on. And just like that, we use the paint thinner. Have a taste of your own medicine. No! Haha. -ha. Well, that's the problem, solvent. <laughs> Come on, Alice. Let's wake up Dooley so I can tell him my pun and pretend it's the first time you heard it, okay? Um, uh, okay, mister. So the kid got into the nanny's stuff and accidentally used it to trap herself in that creepy attic? The dark side, but that's a surprisingly sufficient summary of things, yes. Shame the nanny was a, a, a certifiable... She was a looker. Dooley, she was dab dabbling in the dark arts with a plan to trap innocent people in a parallel world, kidnap their kid, and steal all their cash. I said it was a shame, jeez. Dot, dot, dot. I wonder where the nanny got the occult books from anyway. That stuff is hard to find these days. A case for another day, I guess. First of all, I have to figure out what kind of paperwork covers this mess. Case closed. So that was definitely uh, a speed run because I practically knew what I was doing already. Um, but I hope you really enjoyed this game. I definitely have. Um, so I've already done case number one, Malice in Wonderland, and case number two, Tome Alone. So you'll definitely see Tom Malone coming up shortly. So if you like the video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe. So until next time, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.